Hey, how you doing that in the world? Um, it was a question I got asked today. Um, someone asked me. They said they they don't know if they gonna get laid off or they gonna get fired. So I gave my idea on what they can do to make money, but I wanted to give them a better idea because I didn't think about it at the time that some people do be scared that they might lose their job or anything. So I'm gonna give you an idea on who pays for unemployment. Well. The company you wit mostly pays because you pay taxes, and the company pays taxes. So a better idea of it is they pay you by the amount of hours you work. But right now, I'm going to give you a list of ideas of what you can do to accumulate, I mean, to get an idea of how you can get paid. Well, okay, who pays for unemployment? In most states, that money comes from a tax on employees, businesses pay a, a certain amount of money into an um, unemployment insurance trust um, fund based on the number of employees they have, the history of laying off people, and the current tax rate. So think about it. The tax rate, how many numbers of employees they have, and how long you've been working at. So to give you a better understanding of it, I want you to think about this. Is this. Here's another way to they have it to where they can figure out how they pay you. <coughs> well, they pay you the type of employee union you is. Anytime a company pays someone, you're considered an employee union. Right here, number one. The type of employee union. The type of worker you is. Is you an independent contractor? Is you an employee, um, employee or is you just another worker? The date of initial new claim mean the date that you have you got fired from the job. The length of time you worked it there, how long have you been with the company? How long have you worked there? How long have you been there? You know, it goes by quarter one, two, three, four base periods. So maybe you've been there for one quarter. I think that would be maybe what four months. The second quarter, another four months. Second, the third quarter, another. I mean, three months. I think for every three months is a uh, a quarter, a period, a base period. <coughs> so it's four times three. That's one year. The amount of wages reported by the company. Well, how much you made? It's not about how much you made. It's how much you made with the company after taxes. So how much you made after taxes? Maybe you might made three hundred dollars every week. So 300 times 4 is 12, 1,200. 1,200 times 10 is 12,000. You have to divide that by 4%. And including by how many people work there. So that's how much you get for your unemployment. Two, while the employee was only base period employees. Well, that's a little difficult because sometimes you don't know what you pay by the hour or was you just paid independently well you commission wise I mean the amount of benefits paid to the client mean what benefits they had on you I mean maybe they had health insurance that the company paid or you paid out of the pocket because you know some jobs have it to where you pay your own health insurance and they just give you the job <clears throat> the nature of the work separation that's a different idea is how they balance everything i would think let me give you a better idea of that one um it's the nature of the work separation goes directly to the issue or rather the company will be qualified disqualified for union benefits so it's up to them <coughs> for the process of what you've been through to know if you really would apply for, be able to apply for benefits because sometimes the company might have it to where you might not have been there long enough to even be able to apply. And the last thing is the number of workers that's been there. So the number of employees there is what determines your 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 rate. Because a lot of times they might lay off five people and then they have to balance everything off. So to keep money in their pocket, they have to be able to, the number of employees that they may be fired, the number of people that maybe was at the company while you was there. And... It's nine of them. And they give you a good idea of it because it's at www.twc.state.tx.us. Um, well, you have to think about it like this. You don't really know. And it's the process of it. And 
I'm going, I just wanted to give you a good idea of it. Well, a lot of people asked me questions. I had like 20 friend requests and 15 messages today because I had more than that. But I didn't make a video yesterday because I was out. You know, I was on a date yesterday, so I couldn't really do it at the time. And I was going to make a video, but the whole, she wanted the whole day, so... I guess that was what I had to do, so I didn't. I wasn't able to make a video because normally I make a video every day, but sometimes things come up, and I understand that. And you want this the point of living a life is to live it where you able to do everything you want to. But at the bottom of the video, left side of the video, above the video, on the right side, I want you to add me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. At the bottom of the video, left side of <coughs> video, <coughs> above the video, on the right side, I want you to add me on Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And my number is 773-416-7553. And my number again is 773-416-7553. I want you to add me any questions that you have. Maybe we can mastermind together. Maybe we can get an idea. Because right now I have a little cold. So if you hear me cough, you know I have a little cold because it got kind of bad right now. But any questions you have, I can make a video for it. If you want to do more training. I can do that, but a lot of people tell me that <coughs> the website I have for the training is good, so I tried to do it, but a lot of people said it's simple, so it's real simple for a lot of people, but again, at the bottom of the video, the left side of the video, above the video, on the right side, I want you to add me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, and I hope you have a great day, and if you have any other questions, just call my phone at 773-416-7553, and I'll answer any questions that you have and I hope you have a great day